Listen up, you sorry lot. Gather round. We're handing out assignments today. Garrett, you hear that? I'll be a ranger before nightfall. Maybe I'll let you clean my boots. <laughs> oh, you still sore about the business with the knife? Don't be. I know it was that potato fucker Cotter. And I'll thank you for not letting him get away with it. Nice to know there's at least one person here I could trust. No telling what else Cotter might try. Us honourable men need to stick together. There's enough troubles in the world without having to worry about a man stealing your silver. Silver? This here is a precious memory. Worth so much more than silver. <laughs> Aren't you two looking all cosy? Careful there, Finn. You get caught fucking pigs. And gathered there, he'll snitch you out. You can't trust that one. One minute he's your friend, the next he's planting the dagger in your back. No brother of mine, that's for sure. You can't just go around robbing your brothers, Cotter. Brothers? I don't see any of those round here. Just backstabbing criminals who sell their own mothers out. You'll always be an asshole, Garrett. Wish I'd never met you. I will never call you my brother, Cotter. And who'd want you to? Bloody hell, Cotter. Stop buggering Garrett. If there's a score to be settled, it's with me. Now, it doesn't matter what the world once called you. After today, you're all brothers. Could even be that the man standing next to you saves your life one day. Let's find out then, shall we? Casper to the builders. Finn to the rangers. Lobor to the stewards. Hugh to the rangers. Cotter to the builders. And finally, Garrett to the rangers. That's it. May all the gods preserve you. We're rangers, Garrett! There's gonna be a lot more dead wildings from here on. Should you northern boys want your gods to give a blessing to this union, there's a weirwood tree beyond the wall. Now form up and follow my lead. Garrett, it's good to hear you'll be a ranger. Thank you. I know you wanted this. I'm ready to say my vows. I didn't have many friends when I first arrived at Castle Black. Grin and Pip, they'd as soon as see me bloodied in the yard than offer a hand. Now... I'd die for either of them. Our brothers are all we have. Cotter. You shouldn't be here, Garrett. I can't believe they made you a ranger. What was Frostfinger thinking? You can't be trusted. Stay out of it, Cotter. It's not your concern. Oh, it is if I'm going to have to look at your face every day. And then wonder how you're planning to stab me in the back when I turn around. Course, you've got Jon Snow pulling strings for you. Cotter, I swear. Wish I had that. A friend in the watch. Someone who knows their way around. Knows the thieves from the rapists. Being alone at Castle Black. Well, that just means I'll die early. You might have friends if you stop stealing everything in sight, Cotter. Well, it's easy for you. You know how to handle yourself in a fight. Me? Either I steal the other bloke's weapon, or he uses it on me. I just... What? I miss all people I can trust. Feels like everyone's out to get me. Every man out for his own self. No one to trust. Maybe they think you're out to get them. If you want a friend, you have to act like one. Oh, I know, I know. Except most everyone here did something terrible. And I'm not keen on being brothers with a rapist. Though, well, you seem all right. 
do miss being away from your family. Home-cooked meals. I lost my father and my sister not long ago. Oh, I'm sorry. I know how that feels. Well, just know that you're not alone here. I guess that's why I got so mad about the knife, Garrett. I figured I'd lost a friend. That you'd never watch my back. I'd be alone. Under Frostfinger's boot the whole time. I'd be happy to. As long as you're not eyeing what's in my pockets. Oh, I already looked. Didn't see anything worth taking. <laughs> I'm sorry about the knife, Garrett. And all that trouble I caused for you with Frostfinger. I'll prove I can mend my ways and be a friend. You'll see. You handled that well, Garrett. They say the old gods watch us through the weirwoods. More than watch us. They know us. The gods are not forgiving. We brothers have to be. We're here. After this, there's no going back. Now go. Take your vows. In the eyes of the old gods, the Night's Watch offers you a place beside us. Now say the words for all to hear and embrace us as your own. Begins. It shall not it end shall not until, end my, until my, death. my death. I shall, I shall take, take no wife, hold, hold no lands, father, father no children. children. I shall, I shall wear, wear no crowns, crowns and, and win no glory. glory. I shall I live and die at my post. I, I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the Night's Watch for this night and all the nights to come. You knelt as boys. Rise now as men of the Night's Watch. Welcome to your new family, Garrett. We're men of the watch now. Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. Didn't know you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? Jon Snow's right about Man's Raider. We're going to need all the weapons we can make. The Roylands used to make me sharpen all the blades at Ironrath. Don't forget the practice swords. Uncle Duncan! Garrett! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. I'm glad I caught you. I never expected to see you here. Did something happen? A business with the Night's Watch. A delivery of ironwood shields to 
keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. Oh, the gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I wasn't there when it happened. Small mercy, I suppose. Not having to see our lord struck down with such barbarity. But House Forrester is nothing if not resilient. Our house has survived for centuries. Turned back countless threats. Let me help, Uncle. I can't just sit here at the wall while our enemies are circling Ironrath. That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Just before he died, Gregor's final command spoken to you in confidence. It was a secret he only wanted you to hear. He told you the North Grove must never be lost. Do you know something? I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I found the answer. He describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world, one filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes. Almost an obsession, a vital secret he protected at all costs. What do you think, Uncle? Is it real? I have no doubt. It's clear Lord Forrester spent a great deal of time studying the North Grove. He speaks of it as if he'd seen it himself. Somewhere on the other side of the wall. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy. But you're a Tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. As do I. I just took the Black Uncle. Swore my allegiance to the Night's Watch. Even if I were to agree, somewhere north of the wall, it's not a lot to go on. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind and strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. But there's no other choice. Uncle, that's desertion. The Night's Watch execute men who desert. I know. I wouldn't ask this of you if there was another way. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why, I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. I used to be frightened of where with trees. But before I was a man grown, I swear. I actually could hear him whispering sometimes. Bloody ice dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. A mammoth. <laughs> this map's only missing grumpkins and snarks. And this can't be real, Uncle. You said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. I wonder... Hear the werewoods whisper. Look, there's a clasp. It must open. I had no idea this was inside. Another werewood. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map.
perfect fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Oh, it's the whole map that has to turn. Aye. The Werewood's mouth, Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. Uncle, I can't break my vows. I can't do it. I understand your reluctance. When you left Iron Wrath, you said you'd make us proud. You already have. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Garrid. I don't know. Probably like little, little shards or something. Wait, so like a weapon? Well, your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. Yeah, mine's mostly ale. And if it I'll froze, never lift one of those again. Down the wall, it probably you'll break up into little icy bits. Be moving pretty fast too, wouldn't it? I suppose. Wait, so you're saying? I could kill a mammoth with my piss. Oh, for... you really are as stupid as they say, aren't you, Finn? God, oh, fuck you, Cotter. Jared, let's go. Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives, and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He happened to be nearby. Thought he'd say hello. This is about the last place anyone would want to visit. It looked like he gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at High Garden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. I'm sure it will be a wedding for the ages, Sarah. I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. Go on then, it'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. What are you doing here? Surprised to see me, eh? 
Because the way you left me, you can't have thought you were going to see me again. How did you escape the guard? I got my hand on a rock. I hit him over and over. <gasps> I may not look like much, but I know how to survive. And he deserved what he got for what he tried to do to you. But I'm here to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about... Shh! They already know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. It's not safe. For either of us. Who are they questioning? Do they know about me? I don't think so. But why would they have any reason to? Anyway... He'll never show up again to tell them. What? What is it? If we're gonna survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. There was another Lannister guard. He saw me with him in the garden. Oh, oh no. You need to keep your head down. Stay out of sight for a while. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. It's... It's Tom. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still someone out there who saw you with a dead man. And I don't... Mira! My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy. Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. At least you're trying to keep it secret. Oh, thank the gods you came along, Sarah. That boy. He fancies me. He'll find any excuse to talk. I just don't have the heart to drive him off. So you misled him? I wouldn't waste the time. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, first of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where they celebrate. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace? My Lady? Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we- What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going Your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl, I... you should finish what you start. Sarah's simply in awe of your presence, Your Grace. We're happy to spend the feast wherever it pleases you. Your happiness is not my concern. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She chose you, yet now she puts the king first. I'm surprised you'd let such swings of loyalty go unchecked. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that, you and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. I... I haven't done anything wrong, my lady. That's not how it seemed. Queen Cersei made it seem like much more than that. Sarah, what do you know of this? Mira would never go against your wishes, my lady. 
What am I to think, Mira? I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? The Queen was just trying to upset you. There's nothing to tell. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I'm only trying to help my family. You would do the same for yours. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower in our own house. What in damnation are they doing? They just showed up here, started banging their shields. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Royland meet me in the courtyard. It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. <laughs> this ends now. Get out of my sight. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword? All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth-born son of Lord Ludd Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, eh? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you, but the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. Get your men out of my sight. This is absurd. That sounds like the old Roderick beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. I'll take care of my house. You take care of your men. Let us keep them apart. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, and if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? I've seen to it your men have the same provisions mine do. Times are hard, but they're treated as guests. As they should be. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roose Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. 
You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever... We do what we were sent here to do. You don't want to go to battle within these walls. We need to make this work. Why should I listen to some cripple with half a face? Now! Me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No. You know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Roderick! You can't let them do this! I'm glad you see the order of things. It's a long fight. Come on. Griff Whitehill. That snot nose fourth born. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof, soiling our house. I know you couldn't really stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in, that's clearly what he wants. I'm no fool. I've seen the soldiers in our halls, and Whitehill's runt is at the front of the pack. So don't act as if I don't know how bad it is. Of course not, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake then? By smashing its head. Griff isn't the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. I don't care what Gwyn Whitehill may have told you at the funeral. Who knows what horrors they're putting him through, held prisoner at High Point. You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. We have to push Griff and his soldiers out of Ironrath. They're the most immediate threat. But Roderick, what of Ryan? If you move against Griff, who knows what those wretches will do to my son? Knowing the White Hills, they'd gut him and leave him at our gates. Forgive me, my lady. If we do nothing, we are dead on our feet. Our enemies are not just at our gates. They are within them. We must secure Ironrath. So we have a home to bring Ryan back to. Don't forget him. Then, it's decided. We take back our home. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. We can probably gather another 30 or 40 men. But the Whitehills are already fortified inside Ironrath. Thankfully, Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores. But those forces mean nothing until after the marriage. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asha means to sail home from Essos, with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. If we have to go to battle before we're ready, we risk losing everything. But sometimes you have no choice. That time may indeed come, but it's not now. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. 
Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare. And men to train. My lord? My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. I spoke with her at the funeral. As did I, and she's willing to meet. Away from her father's guards, I may not be your sentinel. But please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Do you think she can be trusted? It's possible she has other motives. But it's a chance to learn more about our enemies. We need to take it, and I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point, when the time comes. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers. They're just all wrong in the Crown Lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen, and if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. Mira? I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion, but Lady Marjorie needs me. Very well. Just know that matter we discussed? <clears throat> A royal decree sits on my desk now, and I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. I thought you would want to know. Good news on a day that is already blessed. My lord, I know there will be talk. But my family needs this. It's in good hands, Lady Mira. Oh, one more thing. The most valuable favor is a favor unspent. Perhaps I'll call on you for a dance at the wedding feast. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Lady Marjorie, welcome to the family. For better or worse. Lord Tyrion. You said you'd done nothing wrong, but now Tyrion Lannister, the Master of Coin, comes looking for you. Obviously, this is not nothing. What's this talk of a royal decree? You know I didn't want you talking to him. Today of all days. Please, my lady. It doesn't mean anything. Really. Tyrion Lannister is a very cunning man. Don't think you know all he's up to. House Forrester already has so few friends at court. And when this decree becomes public, you may find you have even fewer. You disappoint me, Mira. We'll talk about this after the wedding. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. But... Come with me, Sarah. <laughs> 